Welcome to Sage Audio. Today let's cover mixing for car speakers. But first, if you have a mix that you need to have mastered, send it to us to receive a free mastered sample of it with the link in the description. Getting good lows in a car. The chapters in this video are in no particular order, so pick and choose which ideas that you'd like to implement into your mixes or your masters. Now low frequencies are incredibly important in a car and typically need to be made mono for them to translate well to a listener. That said, I typically use a mid-side EQ to cut the side image's low frequencies up to 100 Hz, leaving the mids behind. Now this reduces phase cancellation that would occur to low frequencies, especially when considering the placement of low frequency range car speakers. So let's take a listen to how this centers the lows and makes the mix more driving. I'm wishing I was Advanced Midside EQ for the car. If we want to make things a little bit more complex, we could use a Midside EQ again, but this time boost 350Hz and dip 3kHz on the side, while boosting 80Hz and 2.5kHz on the mid. Again, the lows are going to be made mono, like in the last chapter. Additionally, the mids are equalized with car speakers in mind, filling areas that the car speakers need to sound full, while emphasizing vocals and pushing the kick forward. Let's take a listen to these EQ changes. I'm wishing I was rolling, rolling, rolling with you. I'm wishing I was rolling, rolling, rolling with you. If you're enjoying the video, hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. It's free and it helps us bring you more videos. Trying Car Test Plugin. When researching this video, I found this really cool free plugin that emulates the frequency response of car speakers in the listening environment. Now, if we observe the frequency response, we'll notice a slight boost on the right signal's high frequencies, accounting for the listener being seated in the driver's seat. Additionally, we'll notice a dip around 300 Hz, a notch around 900 Hz, and some lacking highs. Although this plugin won't account for all types of car speakers, it's definitely going to help for quickly monitoring how a car system is likely going to affect the sound. Let's take a listen to it. I'm wishing I was rolling, rolling, rolling with you. I'm wishing I was rolling, rolling, rolling with you. Trying Morphit Plugin. Although this plugin doesn't emulate car speakers, it gives you access to accurate frequency responses of multiple headphones. Now typically, if you can make your mix sound decent on a variation of these systems, you can rest assured that it's going to translate well to various playback systems. So if your monitoring setup is flat, just use the first function to cycle through different EQ curves. If you're using a particular pair of headphones for your monitoring, select the first type, then simulate a different pair. So let's take a listen to headphone speakers being emulated and keep in mind how creating a relatively balanced sound amongst various speakers will help your mix in the long run. I'm wishing I was Upward processing on mid-image. Most lower-end speakers that are found in cars will still be able to support the mid-frequency range. That said, I like to use this trick to boost my mids. I'll send the track or the instrument bus to a parallel track on which I've inserted a linear phase EQ. Then I'll isolate the mid-frequencies using high and low-pass filters. Lastly, I'll insert an upward processor like a maximizer or an inflator and process the signal before blending it in by using the channel fader. I personally enjoy the sound and I've noticed that it helps mixes translate well in a car. So let's take a listen. I'm wishing I was Boost mid tone and high transients. With the split EQ by Ventide, I can boost the tone and the transients separately, which I found helps mixes sound full and dynamic on lower end speakers. What I'll typically do is boost tone bands around 350 and 900 Hz, then amplify the high transients. 
So let's take a listen and notice how the mix sounds fuller and the high frequencies have more of an impact. I'm wishing I was overall tone, and transients boost. Using the split EQ again, I'm going to do something that seems counterintuitive, but I'll explain why it works. Simply put, I'm going to increase the tonal and the transient outputs that are on the plugin's right side by the same amount, in this case by 4 dB. Now you'd think that this would just increase the overall amplitude, but since the transient and the tonal bands are created in a way that doesn't simply sum to the original signal, we still get a lot of benefits. So let's take a listen and notice that in addition to the increased amplitude, we get a good amount of tonal and transient amplification that we couldn't achieve by simply increasing the original signal's level. I'm wishing I was If you're enjoying the channel, use the search box to watch more of our videos. Parallel Bus Processing for a Car As we saw in Chapter 5, parallel processing can be incredibly helpful when translating a mix to car speakers. That said, I'll use this Invigorate plugin by Newfangled Audio to add in parallel compression, limiting, and overdrive simultaneously, using the window in the middle to find the right balance. The settings that I like to use for this purpose include amplifying the input's mids by about 4 dB and reducing them by 2 dB on the output. Then, I'll orient the processing toward the limiting and overdrive, and I'll lower the mix. I'll turn off gain compensation and instead lower the output. Lastly, I found a compression filter set to 150Hz works well, as does a slightly lower shape, higher squash settings, and a very subtle gate. Let's take a listen and notice how the mids and the quieter aspects of the signal get pushed forward a good amount. I'm wishing I was boosting vocals and highs in the left. If you want to prioritize how a mix sounds in a car over how it would sound on headphones, try amplifying the left signal's high frequencies, or do the opposite if the driver's side is on the right in your country. Now this is going to compensate for the driver's position. That said, it's going to have a negative effect for other playback systems, so keep this in mind. Let's take a listen. I'm wishing I was Saturation on mids. Last up, let's do something simple but really useful. In short, I'm going to create saturation on my mid frequencies to add harmonics and cause mild soft knee compression. Now this is going to fill out the sound of the mids and help it sound more impressive in a car playback system. So if you want a quick and simple way to improve the sound of your mixes in your car, try this out on the mix bus. Let's take a listen. I'm wishing I was If you have a mix that you need to have mastered, send it to us to receive a free mastered sample of it using the link in the description. Thank you so much for watching.